Let's take just a second and look at how to and how not to use a skull to catch coyotes. We're on a road. I'm going to show you some scat. I'm going to show you how a lot of books and a lot of videos show it. Then I'm going to show you how, in my experience, it works a lot better if you make them think that they found something instead of something like it's displayed on a Walmart shelf. Coming down the road, we've got some coyote droppings right there. It's 97 degrees right now, so they're pretty dry. Go around the Jeep. And there is a javelina skull. Of course, we're only about a thousand miles away where you'd find a javelina. But that's how a lot of people will set their skulls. It's set on the ground. Some people will run a stake through it. They'll put lure in the nose and they'll put a trap right out in front of that. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, there's a lot wrong with this, actually. Now, if a coyote is coming down this road and he sees that stimulus, which a lot of the government studies have said over and over again, that if you have it where it's just too in their face, a coyote's going to walk away from it. Now, if you've got a skull set up like that, I know it's in all the old books where they just had the big old cow skull sitting down there on the sand with a trap in front of it. But if you set it like this right here, if you've got a couple of weeks to wait on a coyote to eventually go over to it, you'll be fine. But most people don't have two weeks to try to catch one coyote, so that's not the best method. I'm going to show you how I set this up, and I've got a trap in front of it, and I'll show you what it's like when it's finished. Now I'm only about three foot off the road. I've got some old straw and wheat and stuff that they let in, stay in the field for deer. And you can see my skull, and that's actually a deer skull, so it's bigger than that javelina. It's just as white. But what I've done is I've countersunk it, I've dug a trench, put it in there, I put dirt and straw and everything on there. So from a coyote's point of view, it doesn't stand out there like something fell out of the sky from an alien ship like the javelina skull over there does. I've got the trap in front, I'm going to use peat moss, a little bit of dirt for some rain, and then I'm going to blend this in. So this is all the coyote's going to see and it looks like something was digging at it and not something just that's been laid on the ground by a person or by a trapper. Coyotes do notice such things. So if you're going to use skulls, kind of keep this in mind a little bit. Natural is better. Make them think they found something. T-bones kind of do the same thing. This is the finished set. You see a little bit of the bone. It's blended in. Hadn't smeared lure all over it. I've got some cat collector where the, you see the little dark spot, that's where the spinal cord goes in the back of the skull. I've got it focused on one small place. There is a 3 8 inch T-bar run down through the skull that will keep it in place if a cow grabs hold of the skull and tries to run off. But when he's coming up, it looks very natural. Looks like another cow or something has found this skull and started chewing on it and digging on it. And it's like he's found a prize instead of having it just sitting on top of the ground. 